to promise and declare that I will well and faithfully serve. The 14 members of the Governing Council and their alternates were sworn in last week Thursday at the Lay International Hotel. They represent various organizations in Lay and were endorsed by the National Education Board to serve the National Polytechnic Institute of PNG from 2019 to 2021. And the members said their oath in front of the Commissioner of Oath and Lay Senior Provincial Magistrate Pius Tapil. It is uh, the thing that uh, I would like uh, others uh, to see so that uh, uh, they can uh, follow, uh, like, uh, it's like a model, that, uh, because I, I show them, uh, the staff, that uh, your system is working, only you don't go against the system. And then uh, with the uh, council uh, around, then you cannot, uh, you cannot go wrong. The National Polytechnic Institute of PNG was established more than 40 years ago. The institute currently offers six trade courses and has over 1,000 students. The institute director, Joselito Marcos, says the institute needs more funding to build more dormitories in order to enroll more students. Marcos said the national institution is still waiting for the government's allocation of one million kina since last year. Most likely, uh, well, as far as funding is concerned, uh the support of uh, the Hats, uh, uh, is, will be uh, coming very helpful to us, will be very helpful. The Governing Council chairperson and three committees including disciplinary and finance were also appointed during the swearing-in ceremony last week. The Acting Vice-Chancellor of PNG University of Technology, Dr. Ora Renagi, was appointed as the chairperson and the Lay Metropolitan Deputy Superintendent Administration, Pauline Siaguru, was appointed as the head of the disciplinary committee. Julie Badui Owa, National MTV News, Lake.